This is one of Yemen's main hospitals, and it's full. Cholera cases are spreading fast, bringing an influx of old and young. I brought my sick son to the hospital. They prescribed medicine, but it's not available in the hospital. We have to go looking for it outside in pharmacies. Yemen has endured a series of cholera outbreaks since the beginning of the Saudi-UAE-led war four years ago. Last year, doctors managed to contain the outbreaks. But last month, more than 76,000 new suspected cholera cases were registered. The UN fears the latest outbreak could be as bad as the one in 2017 which killed more than 3,000 people. This hospital is considered a main health center. The number of cases we've dealt with add up to about 1,000. About 40 percent have tested positive for cholera. It's a crisis for the local government of Thais. Most families in Yemen can't afford to get sick. Prices are high and treatment is limited. The hospital lab doesn't offer the tests that we need. Some of them cost anywhere from 7 to 15 dollars outside the hospital, and I don't have enough money. We don't even have enough money to pay for the transportation to get here. How can I pay this? Cholera is spread primarily through polluted food and water. The war has damaged the country's infrastructure, making conditions ripe for contamination. These patients are fighting for their lives. It's unlikely the disease will be brought under control until the war ends and rebuilding begins. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.